Mike Bloomberg is officially in the presidential race. Ironic, isn't it? The party that hates billionaires has been taken over by a, a multi-billionaire. Well, OK, he hasn't quite taken over yet. But a man with a fortune of more than 50 billion and who has just spent more on political ads than all the other candidates combined is going to make a big impact. I don't know whether a 77-year-old anti-gun New Yorker can win the Democrat nomination or the presidential election. But he has taken a buzzsaw to the party and split it right down the middle. And I don't think that's good for the Democrats. It's open warfare with Warren and Sanders. They built their campaigns around getting rid of billionaires. And now they're running against Bloomberg's mountain of money. Bernie complains he shouldn't be allowed to buy elections. But money talks in politics. Joe Biden can't be happy. Joe occupies the center. But his campaign is lackluster and he's not raising much money. Overnight, Bloomberg has taken over the middle ground. His strategy is unusual, but very smart. He'll enter the race deliberately late. He'll let his competitors tear each other apart and spend their money and then jump into Super Tuesday in March. California and 14 other states hold primary votes just on that day. Bloomberg's billions will have an enormous impact. And consider this. There may be an impeachment trial in the Senate around that time, spring of next year. Senators Warren, Sanders, Klobuchar, Booker, Harris, they can't be on the campaign trail. They'll have to be in D.C., passing judgment at the trial on the president. It's hard to believe that Democrats welcome this. I can't see the supporters of Warren and Sanders suddenly jumping ship for the $50 billion man. I can't see rural moderates getting behind a candidate who has no time for guns. I can't see Southerners or Midwesterners supporting a climate warrior. Bloomberg not only splits the party, he throws it into even more chaos. And that means no matter who leads the Democrats next year, the party remains at war with itself. Bloomberg has opened the door to a Trump win in 2020.